just to look at this. If there's nothing there, oh, I'm gonna be so sad. It is there. Oh my gosh. It is there. It's totally there. It's totally there. Holy crap. Okay. I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. easy to see. Okay, I'll show it to you. You know what I don't like though? And this is the way it's been. There is a scratch right above where the line goes. But anyway, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a line. But there's a, look at that. See how you can see the scratch right above it? I don't understand that. I am tempted to take another test tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna do that because I wanna enjoy every second of this. Okay, so I'll take another test tonight. So it is July 14th, it is 7 DPO. So I um, have gotten pregnant before. I looked it up, it was um, November of 2020 where I inseminated on a Wednesday and I ovulated on a Saturday night and I got pregnant from that. I also called the, North I called the Northwest Cryobank um, to ask them about this 24 hour guarantee going on because I know that they can live longer than that. And she said, yes, they had a big meeting about it and everything. And the doctor that works there with the lab that they work with um, confirmed that they guarantee the frozen sperm to be good from 24 hours up to 72 hours. And I'm like, I knew it, you know, I knew it could live because hello, I got pregnant. So that couldn't have happened you know, otherwise. So anyway, um, so yeah, so the sperm are good for up to three days after thaw. So um, yeah, so that was, you know, good to get that confirmation that yeah, she's like, yeah, we had a big meeting about it and everything. And, and um, she started reading me this thing and she sent me the link to their lab and everything. So, um, and that was good enough for me, just, you know, the whole three days. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start dipping. I've got one step. I've got first response, Wanfo. Anyway, let's go ahead, I'm gonna get dipping and we'll see what's going on. So the timer went off. It has been five minutes for Wanfo easy at home in one step and three minutes for the first response. So I'm gonna do the easy at home first. <laughs> Got it right here, upside down. Okay, I thought I saw something, but no. Um, here, let me, that is, uh, looks, looks pretty negative. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I'm seeing a shadow. I don't know. Okay, wand foe. Nothing's really jumping out at me. Okay, I don't really think I see anything on this either. Walmart, one step. Okay, good. I think I see something.
Okay, I think I see a little faint fuzzy something. First response. Okay, it's not as, uh, you can barely, barely, barely see it. I am like burning, 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 burning. Okay. So, probably another chemical pregnancy. Wow. I am like sweating to death. Okay, I see, I see the line, it's very faint. Okay, well, I'll show you the lines and we'll go from there. I was really hoping for something better on the first response and there's nothing really there, so, wow. This makes me sick. Okay, I don't even wanna do this anymore. All right, so I'll turn the camera around and I'll show, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's the one step. And it looks like there's the tiniest little fuzzy line trying to be there, but it could just be an evaporation line now. And here is the wan fo. And easy at home. And here is the first response, and it's looking pretty blank. So that's very disappointing. Okay, well, I guess that is it for 7DPO. Um, it's a little disappointing, but um, that's okay. I will be back tomorrow, and hopefully something will show up. Okay, um, it's a couple hours later. Um, after I filmed the last bit, I did not drink any water and <laughs> so that I could take another first response and there is a line again. So um, I'm gonna try hard to show you this line. I, I feel very drained. I feel like, you know, I, I, I got the line uh, yesterday and I um, was very excited. And I feel poking, I feel like, you know, and I have a headache. <laughs> and I don't usually get a headache. And so, uh, yeah, I took this first response just now and I can see the line. So I'm gonna try to take a picture, but it's so faint that I just don't think it's, you know. So I wonder if my urine, it looked dark though. My urine looked pretty dark, but um, yeah, I can totally see the line now. So I'll, sh I'll try to take a picture and show it to you. And um, yeah, this obviously isn't the, ooh, I'm pregnant. You know, it's more like, is this another chemical pregnancy? I mean, but it's 70 PS, you know, so it's like, it's as light as you can expect it to be at 70 PL. So I will do my best to take a picture of this and show it to you and hopefully there will be a good solid line that comes up tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow and hopefully something will show up. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.